Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and today we are going to upgrade my PC. So as you can see here, these are the drives in my PC currently and as you can see there's like a striped volume which is like drive D. Those are two hard disks who are like two terabyte each and they form like a striped volume of four terabyte. Now you would say like, is that a problem? Well, technically not fully, but I do notice of course those things are not SSDs. Um, so it's like it, every time when I copy something from the other drives, yeah, the other drives are like, if I go to the right, here you can see them. Well, those other two drives, those are M.2 NV NVMe drives, well those are a lot faster than those two Seagates. Uh, even, even though the Seagates are in a striped volume. So to show you how fast that volume actually is, I already opened up the crystal disk mark and you know it's already set to the D drive over here. You can see the size over here. So we just click on all and we let this run for a moment so we can just see what this will give. Okay, so these are the results. Now you, you might say like, you know, for a bunch of hard drives in RAID 0, or in this case uh, striped volume, it's not too bad, especially the uh, larger files, you know, they can copy pretty fast and, you know, both in reading and writing, but if it comes down to the smaller files, it really goes pretty slow. So I've been thinking, you know, I've been thinking, um, what does a... What do, these days, you know, what does an SSD cost? So I went to the Tweakers, uh, the Tweakers website, which is here, and I bought basically these. And if we go back here, you see in front of me here, I have four of these Intensos SSDs. One terabyte each. One terabyte, one terabyte, one terabyte. Now you might be thinking like, yeah, but that thing is like very cheap. I mean, this thing is prices, it's like 36 euros. I mean, you know, that's not really a price, isn't it? But if you click on specifications, so this is written in Dutch, sorry for that, and you go down, it says, for example, mean time between failures is like 2 million hours. Now, just by my head, I think that's more than 150 years. I think I can live... You know, <laughs> I could I could do with that, and then the total bytes written TBW is 480 terabytes, but this is per SSD, <clears throat> so that is every SSD 480 terabytes. So we are talking a total of like nearly 2,000 terabytes or two petabytes, and that is actually not even, you know, a thing that will be going on on these things, because these things will only store music, video files that I copy after I made them, and documents and other stuff and whatnot, and I will place all these, all these things also in RAID 0, you know, in a striped volume. Now, you might say, like, but is that not dangerous? I mean, if, let's say, this one breaks down, then your whole rate array breaks down. Your whole stripe volume breaks down. Now, that's true. That's true. But for that, I have, like, on top here, like, an external drive there, 4 terabytes, and that is my main server over there that contains, like, uh, currently 20 gigabyte, uh, terabytes, sorry, uh, and also if I put those two extra hard disks from my computer in there, then it will have like 24 terabytes. So that's not bad, right? Now, since this uh, case over here, by the way, it can only fit three hard disks. So if you open this up, like here, you can just open it up like that. There are the hard drives, you see? So it's, um, you know, we have like a little bit of uh, LED in there. Some, some some RAM, 120 gigabytes of RAM, 
an RTX 3090 Ti graphics card with a Ryzen 9 7900X processor. So, I mean, it's a nice PC. I just upgraded it last year. And, uh, but I want to get rid of these uh, mechanical drives. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove those drives. And then you might say like, yeah, but you have like only a uh, place for three. And you have like four of these drives. Well, for that we have this. Look at this. Ha ha. This is ideal, isn't it? This is basically a three and a half inch um, sled which can hold two SSDs. So voila. So basically, this is this is sort of the the hard drive that just goes straight into there, like that, with all the SSDs. So I'm going to unpack all this stuff now and I'm going to put them into the brackets. So these are the, um, the brackets. I mean, you can place them one there and one there. It's not that difficult. These are the SSDs. There also came some screws together with these things. But you have to be careful because the screws are kind of different because you have screws that have like um, a thick wire thread, you know, a thick... I don't know if I can show you this. I've just put it on my hand. These are thick wire thread. So those go basically into the, in this thing, and then into your PC, you know, if it does not have a slide system. Then you have like the thin threaded screws. These, these ones, I don't know if you can see it. It's just a gamble. Those will go into the SSD. Now I will, I will just uh, mount these and just let's see how this will go. Now, first of all, I also have to determine how they how they actually will go, because as far as I can tell, I think, you know, I mean, that's the most obvious thought is like that the connector, the SSD connector like here, SATA, is going on this side. So let's assume that and I will place this one over here. I mean, yeah, like I said, this is not science work, so I'm grabbing the thin threaded one and then take the screw and then let's see where's the hole the hole is there and now I'm looking how I'm getting this screw actually well how do I get that screw actually through there through that hole ah uh, okay 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 so so this one we are putting down in here. So it's a little bit of a finagling, but there is the opening so I can mount them through. You see these holes here? I can, I can just mount them there. So it's just a matter of just, you know, just screwing them tight like that. Like so, and then I'm grabbing another one of these thin threaded screws like that. Oh man, these things are so tiny, but you know, SSDs luckily don't need, uh, you know, not too much screws to actually be fitted. I mean, theoretically you can al already, you know, mount them with two screws, but for the sake of argument, I'm just using all four of them. Uh, let's see, I take then this screw as well. And then let me see, I put it through this hole and then there. And then the screw is not working along as usual. <laughs> okay, so I put this one there. And there, like that. Nice. And then we grab another one, like that. And we put that through this hole. Come on, oh, come on! Ah, stupid thing. <laughs> Uh, SSDs, uh, yeah. Oh, come on! Can you can you can you go in that hole, please? Today would be nice before Christmas. I have more things to do. So what's wrong with that hole? Yeah, it's available. So just get in there. Yeah, look. Okay, so the remaining uh, the remaining ones I will just do in the time lapse to. Yeah, to sh to shave, <laughs> to shave, <laughs> to save you, you know, the issues of watching me doing this stuff. Okay, so I will do this now.
Okay, so this was kind of interesting because I noticed that there are now eight screws left, you know, for each of these mounting brackets. And I was four screws short for one of the SSDs. Now luckily I have my own collection, I mean, you know, which computer, uh, you know, builder does not have their own collection of screws like this, you know. Tons of screws, and luckily I know what kind of screws I need, so that does help. Anyway, what I need to do now is basically turn off the computer. Uh, let me grab the camera from here. I can now mount these things in there, you know, in there. So I need to turn off the computer. I need to also go to the other side, because on the other side there are the SATA connectors. Not only that, I also need to dive into my whole... Um, cable library because I need two extra SATA cables and two extra power cables, SATA power cables because we have four devices over here, four and only two over there. Took like ages but uh, I found a few SATA cables and also a few SATA power cables so it's always nice to have a spare. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see what I'm going to use uh, of this whole bunch. All right. <laughs> okay, these guys are now in there, you know, in these derived slats. So let's see if we can just uh, mount them properly. Let, let me see. Do I have a camera right? Yeah, I have. So, well, let's start with this one. I, I never really do like these slats, you know, to be honest. So, and then just click into place. And that, okay, that fits. Then this one, yeah, you have to open this, right? Yeah, otherwise it will... There are hooks, uh, if you close these, then these hooks, they grip into the, the system. So you need to open them and then slide them in there. And then basically this thing falls shut. Click. Done. Nice. Great. Well, it took some time. It took some finagling, a little bit of cable management here and there. Put the plate back there on and everything is connected. Everything is double checked to see if all the SATA cables are connected, the power cables are connected. Everything is connected, all the drives are in place. And uh, yeah, let's just hope if the whole thing will start. And yes, there they are. After a little bit of finagling around, you know, with the cables and with, uh, with the slats, etc. The SSDs are showing up here, all unallocated, so we are going to make now a striped volume. So I click on this one, the first one, and I'm going to make a new striped volume, in this case, striped volume. I click next, so I'm going to add all of these drives, add, add, add. So this will become one drive. Next, this will be D, yes. I will call it media. Me media, that's always the, the name that I give it. Oh, sorry. Perform a quick format and I say next and I say finish. And I say yeah to dynamic disks. So we wait a short moment. And then we can do the crystal uh, disk mark. Yes. Well, let's see. Okay. First of all, Let's check this out. It's available here now as the D drive again. Okay, now let's see how fast this goes. So we're going to benchmark and crystal disk mark and let's just see D. These are the same settings, two gigabytes and well, let's just click all and let's see what this will give. Okay, so here we have the end results of uh, those four SSDs and RAID 0 or striped. So let's go to this PC and then to work and then here we have the clipboard of the previous one with the uh, two hard disks in uh, RAID 0. And yeah, that's quite the difference. Uh, look at that. I mean, um, 
I mean, the sequential uh, reads, you know, for big files, they were fairly okay, but look at the differences between the, the smaller files. Also this one, this value, 128 megabytes per second, and this is only 3.28, this one same. This is faster, this is so much faster, this, I mean, uh, yeah, I love it. And if you think about it, I mean, these SSDs, they have like a mean time between between failure of like two million hours so and I'm not even going to use them intensively and they make less noise also they produce less heat than traditional hard disks and uh, yeah I think I think this uh, was definitely worth the effort and they are also not that expensive and well of course time will tell what uh, what they will do because they are four ssds in a striped mode in a raid zero configuration i mean for me those things are the same but uh yeah i can keep this video as a reference i mean today it's like uh, the uh, 12th of september it's in the middle of the night it became a little bit late <laughs> uh, but uh anyway 12th september 2023 and I can always uh, look again in a year or so to see like uh, what they are doing in it. and I can just look at these values and compare them. Anyway guys and girls thank you for watching this uh, video of uh, an upgrade uh, from the two hard disks uh, to a four system uh, SSD configuration. Uh, it was a little bit of monkeying around there uh, you know with, uh, with the sled but uh, yeah finally I got it loose and uh, yeah. I hope that you liked it and uh, hit the like and uh, subscribe and bell icon if you want to see more stuff and yeah and I will say un until next time. Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.